I still think it's it's just a matter of time, man. Before something goes down, in my opinion, I think it's just a matter of time. But anyway, uh, YouTube team, keep it clean. It's Engraven here with your weekly Chuck Clark update. Uh, and Jeff Zrebic of The Athletic. Shout out to Jeff Zrebic. Uh, he put out an article today. Well, at least it's today when he put it out. Uh, I, when you be seeing this, it may have already been yesterday, but we'll see. I'm um, not sure when I'm going to drop this video yet. But anyway. Jeff Zrebic put out an article uh, talking about the OTAs, uh, how the Ravens are going to be starting OTAs this week, and they have a lot of questions uh, about some guys who may or may not be in attendance. Uh, it started off talking about uh, Lamar Jackson. Will Lamar Jackson be in attendance for OTAs? Um, and OTAs are organized team activities. A lot of time I forget what OTAs stand for. Uh, but they are voluntary, not mandatory. That means if a player wants to show up and go, that's fine. If they don't want to show up and they want to stay home, that's fine. Either way, it's fine. No matter who the player is, no matter what their contract situation is, it's all good. So with Lamar Jackson, and especially as polarizing as he is and continues to be, and especially with his contract situation and whatnot, uh, that is going to be a big question whether Lamar Jackson shows up or not. Now, Lamar Jackson could choose to show up. Be like, hey, I'm here. Let's get it. Let's get to work. And I expect him to. I expect Lamar Jackson to be there. Um, because him being there, it could only help. Uh, reason being because Rashad Bateman, he'll probably be there. And as long as all the other receivers and stuff are there, tight ends and all that, this could help him just start to work on that chemistry, even though they've already been working on it before. Um, this can just help. This can add to it. Um, and then you'll be with the, the team, the, the coaches and stuff, too. So they may be starting to implement little different things here and there. Uh, so that can help as well. Uh, so it can be beneficial to everybody and beneficial in both the short and the long term. Now, if he doesn't show up, it's not the end of the world. This is not, it's not it would be like, oh, man, OTAs were the last chance that Lamar Jackson would get to see his teammates before the season started. It, it will be OK. Um, so whatever happens, it's going to happen. Uh, and whenever it does go down, we'll talk about it at that point. But anyway, Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark, who has been the subject of a lot of talk recently, um, especially when all these rumors, they just been floating out and about what's going to go down with Chuck Clark. And like I say, I, I think it's just it's going to be a matter of time before Chuck Clark is traded we said that before we'll continue to say that that's just how i feel uh now honestly um i wouldn't be mad if chuck clark stayed i would i wouldn't be mad if he stayed uh with chuck clark he you know what you're getting out of chuck clark he ain't like a turnover interception machine anything like that uh, but he's a solid talk solid, i was about to say solid tackler solid tackler uh in the box i know they they like to move him around a little bit it's probably Best for him would probably be in the box, I think. Um, if, if he stayed, it would allow you that much more flexibility uh, on defense. Uh, if he stayed, you could, you could do more. You would have more, even more depth uh, on defense. So I wouldn't be mad if, mad if Ravens kept him, but I just don't expect the Ravens to keep him. Now, initially, um, I thought that his whole thing was just about Kyle Hamilton. Like, man, Ravens, like, Really? Like, y'all, this dude, y'all, but y'all got me. That's what I thought it was. But it was actually a little deeper than that. And, and it, it was something previous to that because shout out to my guy Matt has the truth on Twitter. Shout out to him. Going to have him on soon. But anyway, he said he was having a conversation on Twitter. And he said, according to Jeff Zrebic, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Chuck Clark had an issue before they drafted Kyle Hamilton. I thought it was more dude uh, about his contract. And Jeff Zrebic said, I think he was hoping to get his contract addressed this offseason, but the draft was really the cherry on top, so to speak. So what Jeff Zrebic was saying uh, is that with, uh, with Chuck Clark, he wanted to get that contract re reworked. He like, hey, man, I had a pick six against a Super Bowl champion, and we literally didn't have anybody playing. I had another interception against the Super Bowl champions. My deal needs to be reworked. I need a raise. Give me my bread. I don't know if that's how the conversation went. But anyway, Jeff Zrebic said uh, uh, he was having issues uh, with his contract. But then the Kyle Hamilton thing happened. So one thing about Ravens, like Ravens are, 
they are a very family oriented organization. They pride themselves on that. They, they, they are that. We, we see that a lot of times in all the different videos and reports and, and even with a lot of their hirings and stuff. Um, but if you let the Ravens know about something that you ain't feeling, or if you a player and you let the Ravens know about something that you ain't feeling, or, hey, I, I ain't really with that, they will look you in the face, depending on who you are, but they'll look you in the face and they will draft your replacement. They will. They know the business. They know the business. You see, well, they didn't do it with Hayden Hurst. Um, but, and with Orlando Brown Jr., it took a little while too. But anyway, um, Hollywood. Hollywood disgruntled with the Ravens offense. And not just this year, but for like the past two years. The past two years. So before Rashad Bateman even got there, Hollywood, I ain't feeling this offense. I want to be traded. Uh, Ravens said, okay. Bring me Rashad Bateman. Bring us Rashad Bateman. Let's go. Chuck Clark, man, my contract. Hey, I ain't feeling my contract right now. I, I, I need a raise. Y'all saw what I did, what I bring to the team. I'm a leader. I'm this, I'm that. Okay. Bring us Kyle Hamilton. It's a business, man. It's a cutthroat business. It's a tough business, but it is a business. Um, so I expect Chuck Clark. To be on the same boat as Hollywood soon. And that's being traded. Like I said earlier, I, I wouldn't mind if they kept him. Because more flexibility, more depth. And we know, especially after watching last year, depth and, and experience depth. It can make a big difference. But anyway, um, back to the article. The article was talking about who may or may not attend uh, the OTAs. Um, and we spoke about the whole Lamar Jackson part already. But another name that got brought up. Uh, was Chuck Clark But what was brought up about Chuck Clark Is really what piqued my interest And let's read that little excerpt uh, It said it'll be interesting To see whether Chuck Clark is on hand This week uh, Eric DaCosta has spoken to several teams About a potential deal for Clark And it wouldn't be a big surprise If the safety opted to stay away from the facility Until he has a better sense of his future In Baltimore So that would make all the sense in the world if Chuck Clark is like, look, if y'all are going to trade me, why do I need to be at organized team activities? Y'all are trying to organize this team to actively ship me off somewhere else. So why should I be there? What would be the reasoning? What would be the point? Why should I risk injury or risk possible injury, even though I've been healthy my entire career? But why, why should I risk possible injury participating in OTAs if I'm not even going to be with this team in a couple of days? Or weeks, however long it takes. And that would make sense. That would make sense. Unless the Ravens were like, hey, we keeping Chuck Clark. Like, for sure. But they haven't done that. You know, John Harbaugh did a little thing. And I know some people took that and ran with it. Like, hey, John Harbaugh said that they would like to keep Chuck Clark. And somebody told me that. I was like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> they, Eric DaCosta, the GM who's over the head coach, Eric DaCosta said, hey, we anticipate picking up Hollywood Brown's fifth-year option. So all that talk about, hey, we want to keep this player. We're going to keep. No. Actions speak a whole lot louder than words. So we'll see. Like I said, I think it's just going to be a matter of time. But the fact that they have spoken to several teams. So the word several, <laughs> it means two or more. Two or more. Uh, we obviously know that the Eagles, they're one of the teams. Um, who the other teams are, no clue. I know, of course, a lot of Ravens fans have been talking Giants, Giants, Giants. Um, cause of wink, which is understandable, but I almost feel like the Giants, I, feel, I almost feel like that would be like too, too obvious of a situation to where I feel like it just won't happen. He's not going to get traded to the Giants in my opinion. Where he gets traded, I don't know. I don't have any inkling, any like, oh, I think he's going to get traded here. I, I, I have no clue, but I do think he's going to get traded though. I do think that Chuck Clark, um, I think he's already played his last snap, his last game, his last season. Uh, as a Baltimore Raven. And shout out to Chuck Clark, by the way. For again, for, for how he, he made it. He made it. What was he, like a fifth, sixth round pick? Something like that. Remember he, Tony, Tony, I think it was Tony Jefferson. Tony Jefferson got hurt in the middle of one game. I think against the Chiefs. Chuck Clark came in there. He ended up getting a pick. Then Tony came back in the game. And Chuck Clark sat down. And Was it Tony, Jeff, was it Tony Jefferson that got hurt? It was somebody. I forgot who it was. But anyway. 
Um, and Chuck Claude, then Tony Jefferson got hurt again, like, but permanently, and that was it. Chuck Claude inserted him to the lineup. The rest was history. I was a rap from there. So he's um he he's been a solid player uh, for the Ravens. I, I feel like whenever whenever players whenever we hear about players possibly being upset, possibly being disgruntled, it it creates this uh it, it creates a lot of unnecessary hate for those players. Um, because if if a player is like, all right, hey, I don't want to be here anymore. Or, you know, I'm upset about this. I'm upset about that. Even if they, they won't come out and make it public, like, but we'll hear the reports and stuff like that, then I feel like it creates a lot of hate for that player. And a lot of fans look at any bad in that player. And they, oh, he's not that good anyway. Oh, he's garbage anyway. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. we see it all the time. We saw it for Hollywood, of course. I, and we've been seeing it a lot for Chuck Clark. Now, no doubt that Chuck Clark... Um, his his value to the Ravens, would he have the same value to another team as he does to the Ravens? Uh, possibly yes, but possibly no. Um, it was interesting with Jeff Zrebic where um, he was replying to somebody's comment. Oh, shout out to my guy Tony. He was replying to his comment. Uh, he, he said, I don't think the Ravens can get as much for Chuck Clark as a lot of Ravens fans think they can get. Um, so that was pretty telling right there i mean but again we'll see a lot of this is just really wait and see i i think if they chuck if they trade chuck clark i would think they could get like like a fifth and a six maybe like a fifth and a seventh um for them to get get something significant i mean at this point it's really gonna be really hard to get something significant uh but you would have to give up something like say for instance you wanted a second rounder for chuck clark I think they would have to give up Chuck Clark and like a third rounder and like a, a fifth or something like that. A third and a six. But, oh, yeah, maybe like a third and a and a six or a third and a seventh. If they want no yeah, probably like a third and a six if they wanted to get a second rounder for Chuck Clark. Um but I don't know, we're gonna see. I, I just don't like at this point of the year, I was gonna say I, I feel like Getting a draft pick for next year, it wouldn't really do much. But at the same time, if it's a player that doesn't want to be there anymore, if that's the case, then that would be it would be better to get something rather than nothing. Being like, all right, we'll just cut you. Okay, bye. Nah, the Ravens, of course, they, they want to re-up on something instead of just being like, all right, bye, see you. But if, it, if, if Chuck Clark does want to leave, then I believe Ravens will grant him that request like they've been granting everybody else's requests over the past couple of years. Again, Hayden Hurst, Orlando Brown Jr., Hollywood Brown. Yeah. If somebody wants to leave, somebody wants to go, Ravens will be like, okay, we'll show you the door. We will help you pack your bags. We'll book your plane ticket. We got you. Trust us. So we'll see where the Ravens end up getting them to. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Chuck Clark, it's probably going to be sooner rather than later. We out.